right? So she obeyed the word of God. I said, Mama, obey the word of God. Are you obeying the word of God tonight? How desperate are you? How desperate are you? Are you desperate enough tonight to obey the word of God? Have you reached that point of desperation? How bad do you need it? How bad do you want it? Again, are you desperate enough to obey the word of God that we've received in the house tonight? You see, God's going to do His part. Will you? Or will you just act like we're going to live forever? You cannot live, leave this place and not know that just having a knowledge of who God is will not cut it. It will not cut it tonight. You're desperate. Yes. 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 We're all desperate. Yes. Now what are you going to do about it? In the coming days, I want us to intercede on behalf of our brothers and sisters in Christ yes. in this church. Yes. For our families, for one another. And sometimes we don't even have to speak a word. Because praying the word won't mess anything up. But sometimes the mouth, it can mess things up. But if you pray the word, in the coming week, I want us to pray for each other and our Pete Patch revival All right. that we've got going on around here. And watch God show out like never before. I don't know about y'all, but I received that word that was spoken. I received that word that was spoken. And I know tonight has been just a little bit different. But my voice has been a little bit different tonight too. It almost left me, Sister Cindy. And thanks for Bishop for coming in and saving the day reading those scriptures. <laughs> hmm. Let's lift our hands all over the place one more time tonight. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. God, my God, I worship you, living God. Lord, for doing in our lives what only you can do. I believe God heard some prayers tonight. I believe God sees the seriousness of some saints that are standing their ground and defending their pea patch. We're desperate for that oil to flow in our pea patches. We're desperate for the move of the Holy Ghost into those barred vessels, into our vessels. We're desperate to have the Holy Ghost
Bishop has been preaching it ever since I was about coal size. And the same exact word that he's been preaching all these years is what I bring to you. It may be an old word, but that word does not expire. It is so. It is so. It is so. Someone need prayer tonight. I don't want anybody to leave and say, well, I want prayer tonight. Yeah, you know? Brother Joseph said you had 15 chances. <laughs> don't miss your opportunity. To get that vessel full. No matter what's going on in your life. The Holy Ghost will empower you. Several of us can testify to that tonight. No life is not perfect after you receive the Holy Ghost. But let me tell you. You've got something on the inside. That is a comforter. That is a helper. That will help lift your head up. When you can't do it by yourself. If you don't have it tonight, don't leave. Don't miss your opportunity. Don't miss that opportunity. God's fixing to come back. You can't have my pea patch either. I believe somebody else needs to say that under the authority of the Holy Ghost. Go ahead. Oh, come on, saints. Defend it like it is yours. Oh, yes. Sister Samantha, let's hear it. Oh, don't give me that. I didn't believe none of that. Act like it's one of your kids acting up. Brother David, go ahead. You can't have my pea patches. There are many pea patches. But mine is mine and you ain't getting it. All right. Sister Robert, go ahead. Woo! You cannot have my pea
until the enemy who can't have my pee patch. Oh, come on, sis. You can't have my pee patch. Now say it under the ocean of the Holy Ghost.